Presenting the Nikon FM3A. And before we get started, did some of you hear that? Yes, I said Nikon, not Nikon. So let's just settle this. Dear Americans, it is pronounced Nikon, short for Nippon Kogaku, not Nippon Kogaku. There you go, I'm glad we got that settled. Right, onto the camera. This is the absolutely spectacular Nikon FM3A. Released in 2001, this camera represents more than 50 years of combined knowledge and experience from Nikon, all tucked neatly into one well thought out package. In case you couldn't tell, I really like this camera. So what makes this camera so special? It comprises of all the things that a professional photographer wants in a manual camera without any of the fluff. What is really cool about this camera is that it has a hybrid shutter, which is nothing like a Prius as it isn't going to make you talk endlessly about how much you care about the planet. No, actually the hybrid shutter is cool as it allows you to use the camera either electronically for AE or completely free of electronics in manual mode, which means the camera can be run without a battery as long as you don't mind not using a meter. And let's talk about that meter. The FM3 uses a needle style meter inside the lovely bright viewfinder. It's easy to read and very accurate. It's uncluttered and a joy to use, even for four eyes like myself. But check this out. The needle has a balancer to make sure that it isn't affected by tilting the camera. And it's also protected from static electricity. It's that smooth. The layout of the camera is very simple and straightforward. Everything is easily accessible and well proportioned. You could use this camera with your eyes closed, though that would not make that much sense. The top and bottom plates of the FM3A are made from drawn brass, which is a very complicated process. When the Nikon top brass decided to make this camera, they found out they didn't have any engineers with the experience to do the process, so they had to summon some elders to help them relearn the process. When the FM3A was released, it won the Good Design Award and the Camera Grand Prix. Yes, another GP winner. It was hailed for its ease of use and high capability. This was a camera that was suitable for beginners and pros alike. And yet, alas, the FM3A didn't have a long lifespan. Like the other cameras of the period, it succumbed to the bean counters and was discontinued in 2006. Nikon thought there was no future in film cameras and that it was the end for the remarkable FM3A. Though, Nikon, if you are watching, I guarantee you if you made this camera again today, it would sell like hotcakes. Camera shaped hotcakes. So, pros and cons. Pros, great functionality, nice size, easy to use. Cons, none, really none. Just go and buy one, you will not regret it. See this and many more cameras at japancamerahunter.com. Please like, subscribe and comment.